It was the Kane Coulter Show in the Hoosiers' first Big Ten matchup of the season at Northwestern. The duo threat quarterback racked up 294 all-purpose yards while counting for four rushing touchdowns. His numbers were less than half of the production for Northwestern as the Wildcats finished with 704 total offensive yards, a new school record. A couple chances here, first half, end of the game, maybe get some points we don't, but you look at the deal, they work us for 700 in the first half, we don't do much, I think we got five first downs, so pretty poor first half offensively. In the second half, the ability to maybe contain the run game, especially the quarterback runs a concern. We only had the ball 23 minutes. So, again, lucky kind of almost had a chance. But I thought our kids battled. I think we're getting better, playing hard. For the second game in a row, after replacing Cameron Kaufman at the quarterback spot, Nate Sudfeld came in late in the game, revitalizing the Hoosier offense, who scored all 29 of their points in the second half. I don't believe in pulling a guy, but I said if we need, if we need a shot in the arm, Mm -hmm. I just thought the way it's going, we just we just needed just maybe a change up, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, didn't, didn't think Cam was horrible. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time, though, just based on the rhythm of the offense, how it was going, it just wasn't working. For the second game in a row, the true freshman put his team in their best position to win, leading the Hoosier offense on three second half touchdown scoring drives, only to see his late game rally fall short again. I was upset, you, you know, um, we scored this first half, you know, we really wasn't running the, 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 the uh, ball to any of the backs liking, um, so we just took it upon ourselves when our number is called, we just got to make plays. It's really good that we're, we can come back, just like in Ball State, we kind of fought back, but, you know, it's frustrating at the same time, because why can't we just play like that in the beginning and play like that the whole game to, you know, just separate ourselves, you know, we keep fighting from behind, but we really need to get going in the beginning. Indiana's resiliency will have to be shown once again next week as the Hoosiers take on Le'Veon Bell and a tough Michigan State team at home. From Ryan Field, Michael Fellish, Hoosier Sports Night.